please say again on this note that the new slogan for 2023-24 for our young ones is no degree for anybody. Uh, we have been informed from our intelligence that this slogan is coming from a revolutionary sector that may likely cause problem across the country. No degree for anybody is being seen as just a normal talk. But in security business, in security community, we have seen it as a very, very dangerous slogan that can trigger crisis. Don't forget, in as much as you are entitled to enjoy your fundamental human rights, no fundamental human right is absolute. Don't agree for anybody who will not work when security operatives want to apprehend you for committing an offense. Once you have committed an offense, security operatives will come, apprehend you, and cause you to face the wrath of the law. Don't say no degree. All right, that was the Action Commissioner of Police, Muiwa, and he was giving that speech while they were parading 61 criminals. Now, the word slang has become, slang has become increasingly prevalent in music, films, and other artistic mediums. And every day speech over time, just a few days into 2024, the phrase, no grief for anybody, has already gained widespread usage. Many people believe that this year is about sticking to one's principles and resisting the temptation to compromise with others. Disappointed with the New Year's catchphrase, no grief for anybody, the Nigerian police force has issued a warning to citizens not to use the trending phrase with the reason being that it poses a dangerous threat to the nation. So tonight, we are asking, is the slang, no grief for anybody, a trigger word? Please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation and send us an SMS or, or WhatsApp us to 081 803 That's again 081 Okay. No grief for anybody. <laughs> like if you've been on Instagram, TikTok, all the everywhere. social media, it's it's a thing. It's, it's like there everywhere. was some mini community meeting that we were not I, I was to. not invited <laughs> to. I just woke up, I'm seeing everybody. Ah, yeah. violence everywhere. I'm like, what is going what on? Is going on? So do you think it is a trigger word for crisis like the ACP said? It might be. It might be. Mm -hmm. But um I mean the first time I saw it. It, of course, yes. I it, it triggered something in me. I was wondering what was going on, it, I, and I think the reason why I felt like that was because of the meme that accompanied, you know, that um, catchphrase. Mm -hmm. So there's this thing that has been. I don't. I don't know if you've seen the picture that has been going around. You know, like about um, four buses, vehicles, you know, all mm -hmm. wedged together, and then there was a there was an Okada guy that was also you know right in the middle and everybody was just like so it felt like you know what it's either all of us go or none of us would go <laughs> and everybody was just there yeah. and then they wrote no grief for anyone so mm -hmm. I, and again for me i felt mm, this even occurs people people get crazy you know yeah. on the road and road users and all that so with this no grief for anybody even you hear conductors say it you know everybody's saying it now um we are all at different levels intellectually mm -hmm. and um, some people will take it literally some people will take it to mean oh something positive but again some people would rather you know the things will quickly escalate just because there is that slogan, you know, no grief for anybody. And they might just feel, oh, are you trying to trample on my right? Or are you trying to make me feel small? Or are you... So they quickly get like, no, 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 no. I need to put you on your toes. Or I need yeah. to, you know, shut you down. I need uh -huh. to, you know. So that's where the trigger might, might come from. But for me, I mean, when I saw it, I said to myself, okay, you know what? No grief for even yourself at your house. <laughs> <laughs> like this year, there will be no excuses. Uh, excuses, okay. more like you know, I'm just going to you know stay sharp. I'm going to not procrastinate. I'm just I'm just going to give myself you know that opportunity to just be the best version. Just keep pushing. Just keep you know. That's what I said to myself. But again, that's me. Hmm. Well, that's a different angle to it. I never yeah. thought of it from the angle of yeah. Sandra. No grief for yourself. Uh -huh. Like <laughs> the same way you would do a clap back. Yeah. at another person or something that someone told mm -hmm. you on social, on social media the same way you should tell yourself Absolutely. like when you're being lazy when you're not meeting up to standard you should say ah auntie i don't no, agree for yeah. you you know but exactly. the question whether it is a trigger for um violence or crisis mm -hmm. 
So I've seen skate makers, mm. you know, try to create something in, 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 in tune with the theme. <laughs> Yeah, the theme for theme. the social theme yeah. for for the year 2024 and i must say that most of the skits they have created has violence insinuated in it like i'll, I'll tell you one there is this short clip i saw about with a white lady mm. i think she lives in abuja also so she was walking down the road and there was the first person passes by her and that person is tagged 2022 mm. so he hits her nudges her legs and she's like oh no don't hit me she has that expression on her face and she keeps walking and the second person walks past tagged 2023 and hits her like this and she still has that look why are you hitting me what did i do mm. and so the the next person which is 2024 comes and she was like i am not having it again so before 2024 was able to hit her he's like <coughs> like no grief for anybody and it was so i could feel the guy's pain i'm like you could tell she's not here to joke yeah. um so yes it could also mean beyond the the beyond being a trigger what it could also mean that okay this year is uh, no grief for anybody as pertaining no grief for people who are standing on your right so they're about i think it's just an encouragement for people to fight harder fight yeah. the the harrowing experiences people are going in their day-to-day -day lives mm -hmm. the 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 dwindling economy the the i don't know things absolutely. that are happening in it are happening in in, in society that uh, we are not all happy I, about i agree absolutely i mean considering the 2023 most of us had mm -hmm. 2023 was for most people someone it, said it's about survival oh yeah it, no 2023 very few people can actually come out to say you know what i tried in 2023 for mm -hmm. most of us we were barely surviving we just you know what i just need to get to december i just need to survive month in month out so mm -hmm. And you, you see, that, that does a number on your mental health, your emotional health as well. So for 2024, again, I mean, considering what you just said, it may be very good in the sense that, you know what, let's just rise above these issues. We know there are issues mm -hmm. politically, economically. We know. I mean, dollar went crazy. It's like Pounds went mad. Three naira you know, right now. It's but you know what? Crazy. We know these issues. But this year, we are going to rise above those mm -hmm. issues. We're going to focus on the big picture. We're going to go harder. We're going to be happier. We're going to take care of ourselves more we're going to you understand so i i feel like again it could be a charge like a national mantra to say okay you know what guys let's go again it's 2024 but this year we're doing it differently yeah. and you know what i like that perspective of it mm -hmm. because earlier the military remember we started out this mm -hmm. year uh, from the last week of 2023 transitioning into 2024 mm -hmm. there were several bandit attacks yeah. and a lot of things happened in jaws in certain parts of the federal cap federal capital territory mm -hmm. in nasarawa state and niger state within the axis and it wasn't it wasn't all looking good sure. you know so obviously the military have kicked in trying to do as much as possible to protect life so earlier today they were addressing the public and guess what they also <laughs> said this year 2024 no grief for bandits wow. no grief for terrorists so it's it's such a big <laughs> slogan that you could choose to interpret it whichever way that you want to. if you want it to be violent yeah but we hope the security the, i mean the armed forces are waiting for you True. they are waiting True. for you <laughs> to just find a way to kick me <laughs> <laughs> or you can just make it about building your life building your career rising above the limitations and struggles in the society absolutely or you could also choose to say you know what i am not going to let let banditry win i am not going to be allow myself to be brainwashed into joining terrorists and attacking fellow humans or my community mm. yep mm. we'll be having more discussion on this slang not before anybody we'll take a short break see you shortly
All right, if you just joined us, it is Our Ladies Night, and Diola and I, we are discussing the topic, no grief for anybody. A trigger word? Is it a trigger word? Please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation by sending us an SMS or sending us a message on WhatsApp to the number 081-803-84663. Again, that is 081-803-84663. Our phone line is open right now, or you can call us on 0702-500-7749. Again, 0702-500-7749. So, no grief for anybody. What is that one thing, Jola, that you would say, this is what I'm not agreeing for this year? Mm. <laughs> that's a hard one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and that's very... Mm. Because I'm going to ask, in what context? Mm -hmm. Is that for... I mean, so I have mine, and then I have the one for my expectations, mm -hmm. you know, about life. But um, I would say that um, for me, this year it will be no grief for, you know, your mental health to, to suffer. Mm. So I just said to myself, nothing is just going to hold me down this year. I'm just going to, eat, you know, in all ways possible, find a way to surround myself with um, good things, happy thoughts, you know, support system, and be that to people as mm -hmm. well you know and yeah really because I, I feel like um if i can take care of my mental health like if i can be in that zone of positivity it keeps you sane yeah it keeps me sane and i mean i can rise the next day and go at it again but the minute i lose that mental health battle then mm -hmm. i mean you know you just spiral down and then you don't even know where that's going to lead you know yeah. so yeah that's that's my take for my no greed this year <laughs> you know <laughs> so um but um while you were talking earlier um there's something i that came to mind and it would be that just like um we mentioned earlier about not knowing how it started mm -hmm. you know the context for which it started and all that mm -hmm. just like um the um council culture you know that's how he right. just came mm -hmm. and then it became a thing and then you know so i would also say that um it now falls on us, you know, um, to be responsible, to say that, to, to educate people, as many people as we can, that this, no grief for anybody, you know, we shouldn't let it, you know, flip or to um, being a violent word right. or to being a violent phrase. We should always, at every point in time, preach peace mm -hmm. and we should always let people see the other side of it especially for people who don't even know otherwise mm -hmm. you know so i would say that media the skip makers anyone with a platform you know that reaches out to people has the capacity to influence people even in our own little space friends families and all yeah. that we should always advocate you know the positive side of no grief for anybody mm -hmm. yeah but let, let's look at the more serious angle to this mm. and i think a lot of while we can make fun of the police and you know say like what, what's the big deal about mm. this you're just catching on to social trend uh, there are others who are of the thought that perhaps the police is losing focus mm. like this are uh, educating us about the trend and how we should use it should not be your primary focus your focus right now should be about working on the security challenges we have in the country right now. There is the recent Kaduna, um, Kaduna Expressway incident where a lot of people were kidnapped. The news had it about 30 people were kidnapped. There was the recent killings in Plateau State. Um, it's just a lot that is going on. So people are saying, you're threading on the soft part. Go and do the actual thing that you enrolled into office to mm, do mm. you know and it, it kind of does make a little sense to me because i mean i understand the need for speech and the need to put out warning but yes that's really not the focus right now we would want you to address us tell us what are you doing about the security i mean your arm is is the executive arm you're you're all about security right so tell us what are you doing to make security better because 2024 we said we don't agree for you too <laughs> you know the nigerian military we're grateful for the work you're doing we're grateful for it but we as the citizens we don't agree for you mm -hmm. your job is to protect our our residents to protect our roads to protect our farmlands to just protect the the country called nigeria so what exactly 
are you doing are you doing to make that that happen i mean i think that's a reasonable question that we should be putting out there to them absolutely but again i mean that's um a very a multi-headed really it, it's it's really <laughs> huge and, mm -hmm. and and i think it's so much bigger than you know than the literal interpretation we may want to mm -hmm. give it um yes security is is the responsibility of the police but again i mean are they doing enough maybe maybe not we all know that there are challenges i mean in There's terms of, of population to the number of actual police active police mm -hmm. people and do the, the numbers don't it, it, it doesn't it doesn't, it, it doesn't and statistics make, actually exactly. gives it that the current police the number of police mm -hmm. armed forces that we have right now is about 400 it, I mean, thousand and nigeria is a country we're doing of a little, million plus we, we we are actually a little above i don't know the last time and i think we should have a census pretty soon yeah. president tinubu it would be a good thing to have a census because mm -hmm. i don't remember the last time nigeria had a population count or so so we'll stop estimating is it 150 is it 180 is it 200 mm -hmm. so we have a close figure but yeah we all know that nigeria is a bit above 180 million people True. so 400 True. men in armed for it's it's it, it just doesn't make so it doesn't there is while i'm not holding brave for them mm -hmm. but i mean what impact really in the real sense of it and then we want to talk about the kind of infrastructure they have mm -hmm. what kind of um incentives as well are in place in terms of um you know okay if reward this happens, system exactly salary. if this happens to you if you die in the course of duty what happens to your family what you know there, there is a whole lot so mm -hmm. it's a lot of parts so when we come to the table and talk about um you know, are the police, are they losing focus? I mean, the police, Nigerian police force has always been Nigerian police force. A lot of us would argue that, oh, we don't even see the impact. But I would, I can also honestly tell you that in some places, people actually would tell you that the police is working. Hmm. You know, I mean, so the fact that we haven't experienced first time mm -hmm. what they do may not necessarily mean that they are absolutely not doing anything you're that is true side. some neighborhoods yeah. i have lived exactly. in neighborhoods where the police is super efficient but we're just saying that it, it's it, they might not be as efficient in rural areas and we get we understand the fact that they are limited mm. and they may not have it the exact facilities it takes mm. to like maybe security cameras for easy monitoring like lights on the streets mm. that makes it easy for people to spot what is going on from afar off instead of getting close to take a video and mm. send them calling for help mm. you know so yes there are those there are those factors and then you know you, you of course you also know that the police is is community based mm -hmm. you know so I mean, yes, them losing focus by wading in on conversations like this is um, also being um, proactive. Mm -hmm. Because, again, you know, they have access to intelligence that we don't have. That is true. And they may also have had experience with this kind of thing before to say that, okay, before this thing quickly gets out of control, let's quickly nip it in the board and let's quickly let people understand that. I mean, the fact that you guys are saying these things does not mean... There, is, there, there could be side effects exactly, to it. Well, exactly. Well, looking at it from that perspective, I think it's kind of applaudable the fact that they are trying to be a little proactive because the truth is if you actually think of that word mm. it really if we're going to be sincerely honest yeah. it really could trigger violence the Absolutely. sound of the word yeah. in itself no grief for anybody no grief. you got no grief for policeman and then put mm, mm. you say because somebody no said no grief for anybody <laughs> mm. no grief for anyone mm. you go enter yeah. but then you made a very valid point about the reward system and the challenges that the armed forces mm -hmm. are going through yes we might want to say oh, you're not focused on all that but if we're going to be real just like we talked about the fact that people could be going through certain things and we're not exactly sure because they're not voicing it out they could be going through a lot i remember i think it was in the news earlier today that you know your pensioners are crying out and these were people who had served in the forces a couple of years ago mm -hmm. they are crying out that listen we don't have our money where some of them lost their arm, lost their leg, some of them are blind, yes. and they are not able to, they are not feeding, and the government has been owing them for 44 years. Wow. I mean, they, uh, sorry, is it that they put in 44 years of service, and the government has still not given them their pensions? Wow. You know, and these are people in the forces. So while it looks as though we kind of, 
look at the expect police and more, yeah, yeah. We are, yes we do expect yeah. more i'm not going to lie i expect yeah. absolutely I, expect. <laughs> I mean it's it's a right by as a nigerian citizen it's it's their work it's what they are expected to do mm -hmm. but again i mean we all live in the country we all know these things and right. um, it would be i i think it would just be somewhat inconsiderate to just try to overlook and act like okay you know these issues are not there the issues are there they're real issues i mean so uh they live amongst us mm -hmm. we don't like what they do no doubt right but again there are realities they are reality can it be better yes maybe if more and more people begin to understand that side mm -hmm. of their issues and begin to speak about it then maybe it would force mm -hmm. a change and then yeah. we can all see the change we want mm -hmm. but until then i i, I honestly I, I i don't know i don't know right don't so know. let's look at because there, there are so many angles to too this many, phrase way too and many. let's remember that <clears throat> There is also this conversation about gun violence that is start that has already started. Mm. Not gun violence, access to guns, mm. giving ni the average Nigerian a license to carry gun. So <laughs> some people in the northern part have all also started this use this slogan to say this year we no go green. Ha. So they are fighting and piloting the movement that Nigerians, especially the ones in difficult areas that are ex experiencing se security, severe attacks and security yeah. threats, yes, that they should be allowed to at least have access to guns. So then they no go green that's, for that's, anybody. That's this, chaos this. on 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 a, on on a level that we may not even be able to handle because it means that you know what you take you handle justice whichever way you want to you dispense mm -hmm. justice and i'm not even sure that the nigerian society is ready for that hmm. that's quickly going to escalate into something <laughs> much more because i mean how do you who how how do you measure who actually did that in defense of themselves but there is a way around it actually okay. i remember i got into this conversation with someone and i was saying so how about you bring people within a territory okay. right there are people those people who have said we want access to guns or so mm. you give them access to those guns however here is the the condition mm. there has to be a a an official a, a, a member of the military or police who is certified and acknowledged by the country to be an official member of the police force or or, 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 or the military. He is there, he studies maybe five or six of them or depending on the number, they train you, you are accountable to them. So it's like a mini military school, right? You're accountable to them. So when they say, when there is a need to go on the mission, they give you the guns. When you go on the mission, you come back, you hand over the guns. You are just, not, no, that's I'm, okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, no, but we're looking at, we're looking, I think in 2024, we should be looking at providing solutions to certain I, challenges. I like, I like it. Certain it challenges in the country so but we live in a country that documentation is not our forte mm -hmm. you know, so you're afraid you, that rats we, could come no, around and no, eat it. No. i mean even in america where mm -hmm. everything is documented they still have issues with gun control mm -hmm. gun control is something that can move from a zero to hundred quickly mm -hmm. i mean i i don't the, the kind of temperament nigerians have you want someone in traffic to just bring out a gun and say you know what i'm, I'm going to shoot you <laughs> Babe, trust me, we don't, we don't even want that kind of thing in Nigeria because we're a people that we have no chill in Nigeria. Hmm. We, 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 we have no chill. So, all right, um, let's, take a, let's take a call. Hello? 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 Good evening, welcome to Waze. Hello? Can you hear us? So if you'd like to be a part of the conversation, please call our studio line, which is 0702-500-7749. Or send us a message on WhatsApp at 081-8038-4663. I'll take the number again. For, for phone calls, call us on 081-8038-4663. And for WhatsApp, leave us a message on 081-803-84663. If you try to reach us, we couldn't take it. Please call back, okay? <laughs> so yes, we are going back to 
solutions in Nigeria and if uh, 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 forming a community of people that will be trained by the police to, to avoid... Hello? 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 Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. What's your name? My dear sister, this is Lawman from Abia State. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Lawman. Welcome. Yeah. Happy New Year to you all. Beautiful Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See, let me tell us. I break Nigerian. This, I don't know where they manufacture all these words. These words you see, no grief for no one. That word always bigger some things, in, even in this our side, in this other state. When you just go in OB, before you know it, killing has started. Before you know it, maiming somebody has started. I don't know where they manufacture this word. I don't know if it's been manufactured in the higher institutions. I don't know. If maybe the member of maybe cause of, because of cultism cause it, but I want to tell us, please, let's be very careful because all these things you see before you know it, one boy in your house will now decide to tell his sister, no grief for no one. So you know, it, hospital affecting, injury affecting. I don't want this. In this year, 2024, it's a year of good news. So we don't need. Those words that will bring up for us this unity, this harmony. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much for your contribution, Lawman. So while he was speaking, he makes a, a very valid point. Absolutely. And yes, if we're going to be sincere with ourselves, there's just something violent that that thing triggers. It's like, I know grief for you. Mm -hmm. It's like when you when you say, just imagine saying no grief for anybody, and like, no grief for anybody. You. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. Get, but when you say. Not with anybody, you. <laughs> it brings out something yeah. inside of you, you know. Mm -hmm. And while Lama was talking, I don't know if you saw those pictures yeah. about, about the keke driver Honestly. who was stuck in between two very heavy vehicles, obviously way bigger than eight in size, like double the size or triple the size. And Trying like, not to grief for anybody. So that is literally. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it is so funny. That is literally an accident in the making. Absolutely. And you wake up and say, that was the devil. And even the, the one about the barrel, <laughs> barrel pushes at loggerheads. So it's like, no grief for anybody. So yes, we do still want to uh, maybe take your calls, a call or two before we wrap up and hear. What is your view on um, the, the slogan for 2024? No grief. For anybody, do you believe that it is a trigger word for violence or crisis like the police has warned us? And also, what does it mean to you as an individual? How do you um, interpret it? Okay, so I have um, a comment from someone. He says, um, Good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Hashtag ways. No grief for anybody. A trigger word. This word generally may attract violence and anger, but it can be easily misunderstood. If you say you no go agree, then will the policeman on the street really understand what you are saying? If you say you no go agree, what are you not green for? An average Nigerian is not even ready for such statements. Happy New Year to you, my dear beautiful sister Sandra Aze. So nice to see you again and anchoring the show. Nice job. I must confess, my name is Daniel Elo, Ways regular fan. Thank you so much, Daniel Elo, and Happy New Year. This is my <laughs> first time hearing from you for the year. Yeah. Right, so with that, I think it's on that beautiful note that we're going to wrap up for um, on the show today. But Jill, I'd like to get your final take on no grief anybody. Ah, please, grief. <laughs> grief, just my take, please. But no grief for yourself. <laughs> no grief for yourself in the sense that don't give room for negativity, for despair, for frustration, for anger, you know, just focus yeah. on the positives. Thrive, thrive. People, I can't say it enough. Thrive this year, please. Yeah. 
basically if you're going to say no grief find a word that works for you yeah. and fix it there so no grief for laziness absolutely no grief for bullying yeah no grief for procrastination no grief for you know find a positive thing that you want to change in your life and fix it there yeah. and no grief for violence too yeah. we say no to violence and all sorts of uh, Mr. Mano, yeah. right. Yeah. So before we go, do ensure that you follow us on Instagram at Ways Show Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, follow all of our social media engagements. And remember to like, share, and comment, and invite your friends and family to watch us and follow us. If you missed today's quote, here it is again. We have been informed from our intelligence that this slogan is coming from a revolutionary sector that is most likely to cause problems across the country. In security business, we have seen it as a very dangerous slogan that can trigger crisis. That is by the Acting Commissioner of Police, Muyiwa Adichobi. And on that note, it's a wrap. Thank you so much, Jola, for being on the show with I me. I enjoyed every bit Right. Of thank you to our callers and, uh, you know, people who send us messages. Thank you for watching today. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring you another version of, rather, the weekend version, the Friday version of What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways. See you tomorrow. God bless. Bye.